All right, next up, supporting topics 26. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. <laughs> For Q Air, why did we not use 4.5 CFM delta H instead of M delta H? This problem was a situation where um, I think it was a cooling tower and you had the mass flow, you had all the information about the water. So it was going to be 500 GPM delta T for the heat um, removed from the water. And then on the air side, it was this hot, humid air entering the cooling tower. So let's draw that on a psychrometric chart. And the hot, humid air was way the heck up here somewhere. And the question that comes up all the time, we talk about it almost every week, is what condition should you use when you have air entering a coil, or in this case, it's entering the, the cooling tower fill. And I always say, just use the entering air and, and you'll be fine. Um, and the question is, well, when, when will you not get away with using the rule of thumb? And the rule of thumb here is 4.5 CFM delta H. Q dot equals 4.5 CFM delta H. And the answer is you'll, you can usually use the rule of thumb, but you can't when the density or the specific volume, which is the reciprocal of the density deviates too much from the, the assumption that's baked into this 4.5 constant. And the assumption that's baked into this 4.5 constant, and it's the same for 1.08 CFM delta T, if you're doing sensible only, is that the density is 0 0.075 uh, pounds per cubic foot. Or to say the same thing, that the specific volume is 13.3 cubic foot per pound. And uh, in this problem, there was a deviation. The specific volume was 14.2, which is 6% higher. So the impact of that specific volume being, being higher when we go to find Q, Q equals M dot V, uh, little v, specific volume volume flow rate equals mass flow rate times specific volume. And the specific volume is 6% bigger than uh, the volume is gonna be 6% bigger. So if we use 14.2, we'll get an answer that's 16% higher than if we use the rule of thumb. So that's the reason why. And I know you guys ask a lot of questions about this and rightfully so, it's a good question. It's an important question to know when you can and can't use the rule of thumb. And there's no hard answer. The answer is the closer you are to the density being this or the specific volume being this, the more likely that you're fine using the rule of thumb. And the further you are, the less likely you're fine. So if you have very humid air, very hot humid air, or very cold, dry air, then you should be concerned. Not that, and you still might get away with it if the answers are spread out, but you should at least like an eyebrow should go up and you should say, eh, let me think about this. Let me be a little bit careful here. Whereas if you're just dealing with air that's right around this condition and you can use the psychrometric chart, that's your guide to see if you're close to this point, if you're in the ballpark of that and the answers aren't too close, then you're fine. Um, so good question, glad it came up. And it's interesting too, to me, just, I don't know, that it's deep in the program, right? So you're in supporting topics, you're in the seventh module, you think you're done with all the HVAC and psychrometrics and you're just doing some odds and ends. And then this little one sneaks up right at the end and, and is an exception to the rule. So I'm really glad. I don't think this question has been asked before about supporting topics 26. So great job bringing this up. 